this cryptograms groups of uh, yes okay this group of plants this thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta right they do not have external flowers or seed and they have naked embryos okay that is called spores so that's why they are called cryptograms because their reproductive organs are hidden okay first one we have thallophyta which is also called and hello ma'am hello advika good evening good evening ma'am okay and next we have bryophyta which is also known as amphibians of the plant kingdom ma'am i have a question now regarding the assignment Uh, ma'am, do we? Uh, ma'am, we got two assignments today. Ma'am, A one and A two. Ma'am, so which one should we submit? A one, A two. If you have completed A one, then start with A two. Uh, okay, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so is it okay if I just submit A one today and submit A two tomorrow or by the evening? Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So why it is called amphibians? Because their reproductive cycle, right? It depends on the water. Okay. and what is the amphibian of animal kingdom okay what is amphibians is it frog the organisms that live on both land and water man for example frogs yes. land like they go in water to reproduce and they can breathe on land yeah i'm going to the first topic for this one hmm when is the first topic for this no this is not first in the previous uh, class i have talked about this that's why i'm just going to go through this then i'll start okay. for this one but a planerogram okay okay uh, next is pteridophyta okay here vascular tissue will be present remember that okay first land plants where vascular tissue is present and vascular tissue we have talked about right what are those xylem and phloem right the conduction of water and the food right uh, and uh, here uh, the plant body right it is differentiated into root stem and leaves whereas in the previous we cannot differentiate between leaf uh, leaf stems and roots okay next here they do not bear flowers and they, they do not bear seeds okay the examples you can learn two two for each one okay next we have planerogram planerograms right they have seeds and their uh, reproductive organ are well differentiated okay and they they also contain seed okay based on the seed right if they are naked that means they don't have any covering then it is called gymnosperm yes you can write it yes okay you can learn this okay here so uh, where there is no covering that is gymnosperms those organism those uh, plantae are called gymnosperm okay and if there is covering then it is called angiosperm and angiosperm it's a two type okay one is dicot and one is monocot okay uh, what is dicot and monocot have you seen gram yeah when you open it you see two parts right yes ma'am yeah that is dicot and when you see mango it has only one seed okay yes, one then that is monocot okay and strawberries they are dicots many examples i have given here monocots onion corn leaf sugar cane and dicots we have tomatoes cabbage apples and peaches okay uh, first thing in the gymnosperm they are most primitive okay they are primitive and they bear seeds and seeds are naked again it is repeating and they are not enclosed within fruit okay they don't have the fruit covering okay now next we have this plants they are uh, perennial okay and evergreen and woody that means they are always present in every seasons and they are evergreen um, they can be evergreen that means they are always green and they can be woody also okay and next one uh, they have sporophylls that means they contain spore structure spore bearing structure and they also form cones you can see cycle spines and cedar these are the examples then next we go for the angiosperm they are also called as flowering plants and they the, their seeds right they develop into ovule and 
here after uh, developing into ovule right it more cotyledon and cotyledon are also known as seed leaves this underlying things right you guys have to remember this all things okay okay why it is called so because in many cases they emerge and become green when germinate when they are born right when they germinate what will happen they will become green okay next we have this dicots and monocots for monocots you see monocot seed one cotyledon then the root the 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 monocot angiosperms they have roots fibrous roots okay and the vascular bundle it will be scattered okay the arrangement it won't be known here it could be phloem this red one and this could be xylem this green one okay and the leaves it it could be what the the parallel okay banana you can see the leaves are like this right parallel line will be present in banana and it is monocot and if the flower shape if it is multiples of 3 then it is monocots mostly and for dicots they must contain two cotyledon and the root system right they should have tap root one single root must be big and the other one would be smaller okay next the vascular bundle it should be scattered not scattered i mean ringed arranged in rings and this net like vines right leaves should be like this and the flower it should be in multiples of 4 or 5 that's all about the plant kingdom okay next we'll talk about the animal general features we can learn okay first we'll go for the habitats first is aquatic animals okay aquatic animals they could be marine right sea water or ocean that's marine okay the organism which live in where sea water okay or oceans there it is called that those organisms are called marine okay and next we have fresh water animals that means those which live in ponds rivers streams th those are fresh water next we have terrestrial animals in terrestrial animals there are many categories fossorial animals these live in burrows underground rabbit snakes all that kind of animals okay then arboreal right where the animals live they live in trees like birds and, yes can you see yes i can see it see right okay and next we have scansorial animals right these they climb walls like lizard and all that animals then aerial animals right they can fly in air like insect birds some insects right and birds also bats also then cursorial animals what are they they are fast runners okay now the level of organization how are the cells organized okay you can choose this one okay first is cellular organization that means cells they are their uh, animal body right it's made, made up of cell aggregates they they have not formed tissues there are a number of cells okay and in tissue organization the animal body right the tissues they make up what no cells make up tissues okay next in organ organ level organization this tissue right they make up organ okay and organ system organization what is that the body of the animal it is right the organ system I'm right. there um uh, organ level is there and they are made up of they make system like reproductive system like that for specific function okay so from round um, worms can you can uh, you explain the first one again cellular organization cellular organization okay here animals right they are made up of cells okay and the cells usually what happens cells right most cells they form tissues right here tissue is not formed they are just aggregated right they are like this loosely okay so those those type of organization are called cellular organization and it is formed in sponges you learn here in porifera okay understood shazam 
Yes, ma'am. Now we look for the body plan that is body design. Now cell aggregate plan. Here the same thing. Cell will be aggregated like this, and there won't be any coordination in tissue. There will be cells will join up and they make tissue right. They will coordinate. But here this will will not do that. And next blind sac plan. Sorry, here. What will happen? There will be only one single opening. That means, uh, from mouth itself, uh, food will come and the waste excreta will get out like this. Only one single opening. Understood for blind sac plan. And tube within tube plan, there will be two different openings. One for the mouth, right? The getting inside income. the ingestion of food and the uh, after excretion anus okay both the thing will be there in this design in this body design okay first thing first protosomes here what will happen first mouth will form after that anus will form so round worm annelids molluscs and arthropods all this are uh, will come under this one okay protosomes okay then deuterostomes they first here anus will be forming we come under this okay now we go for the symmetry how is the symmetry a symmetrical animals okay here what will happen the animals they don't have symmetry we can't divide them okay like this one the sporifera any plane any axis we cannot divide them because they won't be having same thing and uh, symmetrical animals they will be symmetry we are bisymmetrical by radial okay when we cut when we go like this in this um, axis what will happen there will be same right here one eye is one eye is right everything will be same right understood you can you understand by symmetry bilateral uh, one is radial symmetry from any direction you cut the the thing will be similar like in the um uh, when you see the what is that pizza right when you cut the pie you can see all equal right like that okay that is radial symmetry now we'll go for the body design no not body design uh, we have already talked about that then body cavity body cavity is coelom what is body cavity that is hole okay Yes, sir. Ma'am, what is body cavity? Ma'am, I understand. Please, ma'am. Body cavity it means hole in the cavity. Okay. Oh, hole. Okay. Ma'am, ma what is bilateral symmetry? Bilateral symmetry us when we laterally cutting and it, 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 we get equal parts. Okay. Okay. It will come under. Ma'am, but that's not necessarily true, right? Because when you cut a human, it's not. You know, you can't always be sure that it'll be symmetrical. Hmm. And but you can't always be sure that the faces or the body parts are symmetrical. Yeah, generally, I'm talking about general. Ah, uh, uh, okay, sir. Okay, now uh, here we have a coelomate. That means there is no body cavity. Okay, there is no hole. Excuse so, me, ma'am. Uh, what about body cavity? Can I explain it again? Body cavity means hole. Okay, simple way, a hole. Okay. And here, ah, uh, a coelomates. Uh, organism they don't have any body cavity they don't have coelom that's why it is okay. called a coelomate okay next pseudo coelomates that means they have pseudo false false body cavity okay like the pseudo polia way mm, yeah when you see pseudo you 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 have to know it is false okay this is our coelom and here you see pseudo coelom okay here what will happen is coelom will be present okay but it is not lined by mesoderm mesoderm will you will learn there are germ layers okay there are uh, three types of germ layer that means when body is formed right there is certain amount of tissues okay which it is made up of two types three types of tissues okay that is ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm okay our body right we have three of the things some don't have uh, some only have this some um, they have only two okay so when the organism uh, which are, which are having two germ layers they are called diploblastic and if uh, 
uh, three are present, then it is called triploblast. Okay. So in the pseudo coelom, what will happen? The coelom, right? It it is not lined by mesoderm. That's why it is called false coelom. And if it is lined by mesoderm, then it is called u coelomates. Okay. That's all you have to know. Because these terms will come when we learn about these things. That's why you have to know all that. Okay. Next, we'll go for the porifera. This is simplest animal. Okay. It. We can look into this one. Animal kingdom. Animalia. Okay. First one, cellular level of organization. First thing, cellular level of organization. If the organism are having cellular level of organism, that means it is porifera. And if it is having tissue level of organism, then that means it could be no body cavity present or it could be having pseudo coelom or it could be, uh, it is coelomate. It is having body cavity. And if it is having this pseudo, pseudo, mm, pseudo coelom, coelomate, then that means that is nematodes, this one. And if it, it doesn't have any body cavity. That means it is acelomates. And acelomates organisms are co colentrata and platyhelminthes. This two. Okay. Now we go for the coelomates. That is u coelomates. Those are having true coelom. Okay. Now here we have mesodermal cells from, from a single cell during growth of embryo. When there is growth of embryo, that mean, that that time they are having mesoderms. That that is those will come under Annelida, Mollusca, and Arthropoda. And coelom formed from the uh, pouches pinched of endoderm. Then we have notochord present, a notochord absent, or notochord present. What is notochord? Notochord is backbone. Okay, if backbone is ma absent, ma is it a uh, like backbone in uh, animals or like genuinely any? I mean, in humans or genuinely any animal? Yeah, we are talking about animal kingdom, animalia, everything. If they are not having notochord, the backbone, then it then this will come under ectoderma. Okay, and if they are having notochord, notochord is present, then it is chordate, and inside chordate we have this protocordate we won't talk about much here vertebrata this this uh, notochord right it it is replaced in adults right we have this nerve this uh, column whatever column right spinal cord like this so those are called vertebrates pisces amphibia amphibia reptilia apes and mammalia all these things if there is exoskeleton and um, exoskeleton of scales, they have scales outside and inside they have bone or cartilage they, uh, and they are breathing by gills, then it will come under this Pisces, that is fishes. And gills in larva stage and lungs in adults and then they have spiny body skins, that is amphibia. They are called amphibians. Okay. And next, exoskeleton of scales. They have outside scales and their leg X outside the body. That is reptila. And exoskeleton of feather. If they are having exoskeleton of feather and their legs lay X outside water, then also the flight is possible. That means they, they can fly. Then it is apes. Some birds they won't fly. Okay. Then exoskeleton of hair if they are having hair and uh, they have external ear and they give mostly birth to young ones then those animals will come under mammalia okay any doubt here no i understood understood advika yes no, ma'am i understood understood right okay here first one porifera porifera it is simplest and their level of organization what will be there cellular there will be minimal differentiation and division into tissues. There will be minimum, minimum, very less. And these are called sponges. So 
this is a silhouette okay they are what a silhouette they don't have body cavity that is body cavity absent and their level of organization is cellular level and they are mostly marine that means where are they present we have talked about that right advika shazan yeah, right yeah, where yeah. are they present are they present in river i'm going to ask the question once again here they are telling right they are mostly marine ma'am found in sea water or oceans yes correct correct perfect okay and some species they are found in fresh water like spongila ma'am ma in uh, ponds rivers mm -hmm. yes fresh water means ponds rivers correct correct okay they can be ways like rounded or sac like or branched this is the picture for the porifera okay and they will be having numerous hole inside their body you cannot see in this picture what they will be having pores through this pores only they conduct water and food water and food or uh, water and oxygen okay and larva stage they are motile in larva stage they are motile that means they have movement when they reach in adult stage what they uh, will do they they attach in the in uh, object okay solid object and they become stationary they don't move and their body right they uh, they contain skeleton hard skeleton okay example spongila cycon and this eupectella okay the names right you can learn these two names only it is easier for you cycon and spongila porifera means sponges okay and example will be having spongela and cycon and what is there here acelomates and cellular level of body organization then marine and example of fresh water spongela and how are they shaped ways like rounded and they are branched also they can be sac like also okay and also they have numerous pores for what for conduction of this water uh, food and oxygen okay and uh, young young ones larva stage they are motile and once they become adults they are stationary they attach to a solid object okay and they are covering they are covered by hard layer or skeleton you can say understood this this all points you you guys can remember right for porifera hmm? yes sir understood right yes ma'am ma'am also when you have to memorize two names right yes two um, names no need to read this okay, okay no. because it is tough for you guys or if you memorize at least two it will be good for you excuse me okay. ma'am hmm uh, ma'am can you explain the last third point last this this these organize no 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 only the young forms or larva yeah. okay only the young ones are larva or motile larva forms right the kids they are motile the larva motile means motile means they have movement okay they can move okay this is simplest animal okay and they can move only the larva adult like a plant right they stick to a surface like they will stay at one place adults when they become adults okay understood any doubt here no ma'am understood you can remember these points next pollen trata or cnidarians these are also known as cnidarian or pollen trata if they are asking about cnidarians or if they are asking about pollen trata both are same things you have to remember sometimes they will give about right about this pollen trata sometimes they they will give right about cnidarians both are same thing same thing you have to write and these animals okay, they okay okay these animals they show better body design differentiation than porifera they are better than porifera there will be improvement in body design okay when we go from porifera to mammalia and these are multicellular and acelomate here also acelomate they don't have body cavity and but here there will be tissue level of organization whereas in the porifera we, we had cellular level of organization here we have tissue level of organization that's the dif difference okay and they live in water and they have tentacles for locomotion like this jellyfish jellyfish right they come under this cnidarian 
when when people will ask which category this jellyfish will come you you can tell it is cnidarian or colentrata and colentrata have central body cavity which is called this colentron or vascular gastrovascular cavity and these are made up of two layer of cell one outside of the body the other inside inner lining okay so that's why they are called diploblastic animals these are called diploblastic animals okay because they have two layer next they show radial symmetry they show radial symmetry when you cut this right it will be showing the radial symmetry in the axis okay some species are colonial that means they they live together okay like they live in a society that's why they are called colonial and others are solitary lifespan and other some live alone okay example hydra then you can say this uralia jellyfish hydra uralia these two you can learn okay understood any doubt here hmm? yes ma'am next we have platyhelminthes platy you can say it by names with some seed by name platy that means they have flat and these are called flat worm also their body design right they have uh, they are flat okay they are also known as flat worms and they are triploblastic that means they have three germ layers dorso ventrically flattened you can see this like this this is called dorso ventricle flattened okay like uh, leaf like animals and they and also, also have an animal than the yes. image yes that is uh, an animal but like does it move it moves <gasps> it is like worm but its shape will be like this it will be flat ah uh, okay like this and they have bilateral symmetry they are bilateral symmetrical that means this will be equal and this will be equal same same similar phases yeah okay and they don't have any no true coelom okay no true coelom mm, okay and they are free living or parasites they, they could be free living that means they they won't be dependent on right they won't be inside host that is free living or they can be also parasite they require host okay both the thing they, they will be living in the organism other organism like the animals and uh, example we have liver fluke and free living that is planaria tinea solium this pore tape worm it will be pre present in the pig okay this liver fasciola okay you can learn planaria liver fluke and this tinea solium okay these three these are easier okay everyone understood any yes, doubt sir. here uh, no ma'am okay okay then we'll stop here okay yes ma'am now i will and this is the diagram ma'am the picture it is a flat worm yes it is a flat worm uh, you search in the internet okay um flat worm you will find it interesting ma'am does it have any organs or not you uh, it's it, it doesn't have organ okay, okay. no organ system of level, level of so organ system. how did it, how did this live by skin it breathe by skin yes okay now uh, the questions okay uh we'll go for this write about gymnosperm next um, and angiosperm okay here porifera mm, nidarian and platyhelminthes all right now these two things after that we'll start our assignment okay class is over after every class i'm going to do like this only okay start writing aram did you understand anything yes ma'am yes ma'am continue start writing yeah yeah you can start writing uh, how many points mm, how much ever you remember 